and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore, thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. Israelites, every good and perfect gift comes from the Most High. Remember, it is the Most High that bless you. It is the Most High that give you the ability to enjoy the fruits of your labor. It is the Most High that bless the works of your hands. If you are in need, ask the Most High and He will gladly give you the desires of your heart. Delight thyself also in the Lord and He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. As long as the desires of your heart corresponds with the Most High's will for your life, no good thing would the Most High withhold from you. With that being said, Israelites, be careful with forging covenants with the heathens and their idols. The solutions and gifts coming from the heathens are laced with traps that will become a snare to you. The Most High said, make no covenants with them and their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods. The indigenous people that dwell in the Americas can testify to this truth. How many peace treaties did the workers of iniquity renege on to build the USA? The USA is a nation that is founded on land theft and slavery. How a demonic nation could ever be great when its foundation is rooted in the kingdom of darkness? Many people are proud to be Americans. Israelites, Everything that you receive from the heathens is a covenant. When you accept a gift from a worker of iniquity that placed curses on the gift, when you accept the gift, you forge a covenant. Once you place the cursed object into your home, the unclean spirit know where to find you. Besides identifying its victim via the cursed gift, the purpose of forging covenants is to steal your blessings. Covenants are binding. There are strict consequences if you break a covenant. The scripture said they have taken crafty counsel against you. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. It is important that you do not accept their gifts to compensate for the many generations they have tormented us. The kingdom of darkness want you to make decisions independently from the Most High. Israelites err greatly when they act before consulting with the Most High. When our ancestors did not consult the Most High before making a critical decision, the repercussion from their choices cost them severely. The elders during the time of Joshua made a covenant with workers of iniquity that disguised themselves as servants. The elders did not seek the Most High nor test the spirit of the heathens to see what kind of people they were. The elders forged a covenant that would torment our ancestors until the generation of King David. And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. And Joshua made peace with them and made a league with them to let them live. And the princes of the congregation swear unto them. And it came to pass at the end of three days after they had made a league with them, that they heard that they were their neighbors and that they dwelt among them. During King David's reign, there was a three-year famine because of the covenant that was made between the Israelites and the Gibeonites. King Saul broke the covenant. As a result, the entire nation of Israel suffered. Then there was a famine in the days of David three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them. And Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? 
King David had to make an atonement with his enemies to deliver the Israelites from the covenant that Joshua and the elders of Israel established. Remember, covenants are legally binding. Israelites' covenants transfer from one generation to the next. Righteous covenants like the everlasting covenant the Most High made with Abraham transfer to our generation. That is how we inherited Jacob's blessings. Evil covenants also transfer to the next generation. Israelites, it is important with the times we're living not to forge evil covenants with the heathens in the kingdom they represent. These covenants will hurt us instead of helping us. Through these bad covenants, we remain at the bottom. We must learn to humble ourselves and ask the Most High for help. The Most High gave this generation an easy command. Yah said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Many Israelites are forging evil covenants with the workers of iniquity. In addition, trusting the heathens to do right by us. Israelites, the heathens, the workers of iniquity in the kingdom of darkness are incapable of doing the right thing. Everything they do is to benefit them and their kind. They want you to depend on them for everything. That is why they discourage you from seeking the most high for help. Israelites, as long as they can keep your eyes off the Most High and to focus on them, you will never advance. Your help comes from the Most High only. The scripture said no man could save us. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Israelites, there is no such thing as equality with the heathens. Their greed has overtaken them. That is why they torment indigenous people all over the world, steal the indigenous people's land and colonize their land. Israelites, the reason it is important for you to not make any covenants with the workers of iniquity, every deal you make with these devils benefit them only. In addition, you give the heathens the upper hand. Did you know the colonizers made the indigenous people pay them for their loss? Some nations that were colonized and gained their independence are paying reparation until this day. Although the workers of iniquity appear to no longer have control in these countries, they still control those lands through the enemy within, through the black people that have taken the mindset of their oppressors, the black people that want to integrate, the black people that open our communities to be plundered by the enemy, black people that support the oppressor, black people that do not see color, black people that have sold their soul to their white savior. The nations that were colonized are still paying the Europeans reparation. The reparations are in the billions. How does robbing a nation that is considered poor benefit the indigenous people? These workers of iniquity have countless nonprofit organizations that is supposed to help poverty-stricken countries. Yet the same robbers are making these poverty-stricken places pay them billions, even trillion in reparations. Now do you comprehend why more than half of the countries are third world? Yet these so-called nonprofit organizations supposedly care for the people. These nonprofit organizations have the reputation of saving lives and helping the people around the world. Behind closed doors, they are the very reason the countries that are considered third world cannot rise. If the heathens truly wanted to see black people succeed, they would have helped a long time ago. They would not withheld the truth. One group of people are eating and making their belly fat off the backs of third world countries and the indigenous people. The heathens see nothing wrong with it. They find all kinds of reasons to justify their wickedness. Make no covenants with them. The scripture said the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Did not the colonizers steal, kill, and destroy? 
Israelites and indigenous people of the world, you have the right to be free. You have the right to freedom without oppression, just like the serpent seed who live freely. You should not have to go to another group of people to ask for freedom. It is your human right to live in a world that was created by the Most High. To whom do the workers of iniquity have to answer to in this beast system? How many times have we asked for justice and received nothing? It is time that you stop asking. The heathens answer to no one. They take what they want. You should not have to answer to anyone but the Elohim of Israel. The workers of iniquity that stole land all over the world is making the rightful owners of the land pay them. They do not ask, they take. Israelites, meditate on this wisdom for a moment. Israelites, it is important that you are careful on what you ask for. There are many Israelites demanding reparations from the heathens. Any covenant made with these heathens will benefit the heathens, not you. King David had to go to his enemies to discuss the terms to free our people from a covenant made multiple generations prior. The Most High allowed this because Yah will honor all covenants, regardless if it's an evil covenant. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no silver nor gold of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us shalt thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What ye shall say, that will I do for you. And they answered the king, The man that consumed us, and that devised against us, that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coasts of Israel. Let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them up unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. Through knowledge would the just be delivered. If Israelites accept the terms to a covenant made with the heathens for reparations or anything else, Israelites needs to understand they are striking a deal with the devil. The covenant will transfer to the generations to come via bloodline curse. When we make covenants independently of the Most High, we are inviting the kingdom of darkness into our lives. We are giving the heathens headship over us. We have to submit to the conditions of the covenant made with the heathens and the kingdom they represent. Satan's gifts and covenants is to destroy, not to help. There are many discussions of reparations for slavery. If Israelites accept reparations from the heathens, it cancels the reparation that comes from the Most High. Remember, you cannot serve two masters. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. The heathens would decide the conditions to any agreement made on reparations. Israelites have given the heathens power to decide whether they receive any reparations. We should not give our enemies such power. Black people would not have a say on what the terms would be for reparation. If the heathens decide to give you money, I would recommend that black people not accept money due to inflation and biased laws against them. The beast system would devour the funds. The heathens would find a way to bring the money given to you back into their communities. They would tax the funds. If they give you land, they will increase the land and property taxes. In addition, increase the cost to purchase land. The heathens will create new laws that would make it difficult to develop the land. The heathens will approve Israelites with high interest loans, just as they are doing now, to rob you. Remember, the scripture said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The beast system is designed to elevate the heathens and no one else. There are many black billionaires and millionaires in our communities. Have you noticed none is able to elevate the black community? Most black elites are traitors of their community. They invest and build in their enemies' communities. Many are married to the enemy, which guarantee the money to return to the workers of iniquity. The workers of iniquity own all the major corporations in this world. They will oppress the competition until your business is bankrupt. Many Israelites believe money would compensate for the free labor and blood that was shed to build the heathen nations around the world. 
money is not the answer. You should not allow the heathens to get away with their wickedness so easily. The heathens have blood on their hands and the blood of our ancestors that was shed is crying to the most high for justice. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? The Most High has the perfect judgment for the wicked to avenge the blood of his servants. Lusting after financial gains to please your lustful desires is not enough for our great-grandparents' suffering. Most Israelites would squander their wealth on material gains instead of assets that would produce generational wealth. Do not give the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to set the terms to any covenant. You should not be establishing covenants with devils. Every gift that comes from the Most High elevate you in life. Israelites, have you noticed when the Most High bless you, His gifts are fruitful and help you exceedingly. When you bless yourself via the kingdom of darkness, you have to work hard to maintain the gift. When our ancestors was leaving the land of Mizraim, the Most High stripped the Hamites of their wealth. Yah made Mizraim descendants, most people call Egyptians, hen over their wealth to his people. The wealth of the Egyptians stayed with the Israelites and the workers of iniquity could not steal it back. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. Israelites, there is a movement in the heathens community of Satan's chosen people confessing of who the true descendants of the Israelites are. This movement is dangerous. Israelites, it is important that you are alert and seeking the face of the Most High to prepare you on how to fight back properly. The scriptures warn us to be alert. Our enemy, the devil, is seeking whom he could devour in the last hour. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. The kingdom of darkness is trying to find ways to establish evil covenants with the Israelites in the awakening and in the church. With the heathens pretending to repent and fighting for our cause is not genuine. Do not fall for it. Do not believe them. Remember, Joshua and the elders of Israel were deceived by their neighbors, the Gibeonites. Through their false pretense, the Gibeonites forge a deceitful covenant that haunt the Israelites for multiple generations. These workers of iniquity are confessing half-truth. Everyone should know a half-truth is a complete lie. Satan's chosen people are trying to include themselves by maintaining that they are Shemites to integrate into the bloodline. They want us to accept their lies in exchange to confessing that black people are the real chosen people. There are many Shemites, but not all Shemites are descendants of Jacob. For example, Esau is a Shemite and a Hebrew. However, Esau's bloodline is not Israelite. Esau's bloodline are Edomites. You must descend from Jacob to be an Israelite. Satan's chosen people are still trying to hold on to a bloodline that do not belong to them. How are you confessing the so-called truth, yet you're still trying to include yourselves in a bloodline that do not belong to you? Satan's chosen people are now supporting the church doctrines. That is how many Israelites will remain captives in the pagan church. Satan is the father to all religion. Do you see how the four major religions are intertwined with each other? I have seen how the synagogue of Satan bombard our channels with Jewish ads. I have seen commercials of Jewish people accepting the Jewish Messiah. Everyone should know by now that the real Messiah was not Jewish, nor was the chosen people of the Most High Jewish. They refused to say the proper name Israelite. Instead, they used Israeli and Jew. These workers of iniquity are accepting the false Messiah and they worship idols. This movement of heathens wanting to confess and accepting the false messiah is making way for the abomination of desolation that Daniel has spoken of to come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. 
Satan's chosen people will be the one to push for the false Messiah. Israelites, you have to pay attention to the times we're living in. The heathens are not genuine. There is no truth in them. Just a new strategy the kingdom of darkness is using to counter the Most High's awakening. I have seen Satan's chosen people say they were deceived. Israelites, the next time you come across a wicked heathen confessing and proclaiming they were lied to, remind them their own people and the kingdom they represent lied to them. Their own people created the problems. Go and settle the matter with the elites they claim they do not support but love all the benefits the elite provide for them. Reassure Satan's chosen people that they never lost their identity. Satan's chosen people know their heathen family converted to a religion called Judaism. Most of them know their history and their family's genealogy well enough to claim Judah's bloodline. Yet they cannot find their brethren, the northern kingdom of Israel. Satan's chosen people love the benefit of pretending to be an Israelite that they have joined the kingdom of darkness to take crafty counsel against the hidden ones. They are confederate against the people of the Most High. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Israelites, it is time that you speak boldly and do not let emotions cause you to forge covenants that will hurt you. The heathens are not your brothers and sisters. If they were, they would not assist the kingdom of darkness in oppressing you. Do not feel sorry for the people who are trying to manipulate everyone to maintain their privilege at our expense. I have seen one of Satan's chosen people on YouTube saying the Hebrew Israelite movement is dangerous and they hate Jews, yet the video is not taken down for hate speech and slander. In one breath, they are saying black people are the chosen people. In the next breath, they are calling the awakening hate. Which one is it, you double-minded workers of iniquity? The awakening is only dangerous because Satan's chosen people cannot control it. Too many people have heard the truth, including them. Many people are accepting and believing this truth. At this point, Satan's chosen people have no choice but to admit while they admit, they will seek to find ways to insert themselves. Israelites, you do not have to give your inheritance to the heathens. You do not need to seek them for justice. Look to the Most High for justice. The Most High will restore. Yah said he would give us back the years these devils have stolen from us. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm my great army which I sent among you. Command your sevenfold back from the kingdom of darkness. Look to the Most High for answers. The synagogue of Satan wants to forge covenants so they can have the upper hand. Do not accept their gifts and covenants. There is nothing they could offer you to trade your glory for the lesser. We need to hold the workers of iniquity accountable. Simply confessing and wanting to integrate should not make us feel sorry for them. Despite their confession, not one of them are relinquishing their stolen goods and privilege. Israelites, do not make yourself easily bought by the heathens. Do not get carried away when you see a heathen professing what the Most High have revealed through your brothers and sisters in the awakening. Let the wrath of Yah deal with the workers of iniquity. Israelites, continue to seek the Most High and strengthen your relationship with our Creator. The only covenant you should be forging are covenants that are made with the Most High. The kingdom of darkness, gifts, and covenants are to satisfy the flesh. There is nothing permanent in the flesh. Yah's covenants are righteous covenants that would elevate you and prosper you. Let go of the ways of this world and cleave to the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and 
and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. 